Hey friends, welcome to my channel and uh, in this video I'll show you how you can make a useful uh, Geo TV IP set top box uh, using a Raspberry Pi 3B plus model then an IR receiver so this IR receiver is uh, OVU. Just don't go by the model number. Uh, it's a USB IR receiver connected to um, uh, the Raspberry Pi. It's got uh, four USB ports. And then I've also connected a USB mouse to the Raspberry Pi. And uh, last but not the least, what you need uh, is a remote uh, which can be interpreted by the LIRC module of. Uh, Linux. So uh, first I will show you what I have done. So I have uh, installed uh, the Libre Elect uh, uh, OS on this Raspberry Pi. I think it should work with OSMC2. Now this is Libre Elect actually for Raspberry Pi 4 but I have tried using it on 3B. Yes it works fine. Uh, it uh, does have that occasional crash. So after installing Libre Elec, uh, I have also installed the Geo TV uh, add-on. So this Geo TV add-on is done, uh, is uh, installed using the Bot uh, Allen repository. So that is uh, B O T A L L E N repository. So you can just do a YouTube search. I'm not going to give you. Uh, full details on how the Geo TV can be installed. There are many videos floating around. And uh, now comes the main uh, challenge how you can use this uh, uh, remote. Uh, this is basically a pixel view external TV tuner card remote. It was uh, lying in my stash uh, for uh, more than 10 years now. So these days we don't use those external TV tuner cards. So let me check uh, how we can uh, configure this uh, along uh, through the infrared receiver and the Raspberry Pi. So let's go to some command line access through which we can convert uh, the Raspberry Pi to an IPTV setup box. Just make a note that this is not a sponsored video, though I like the services of Geo, but this has not been sponsored by anyone. So let's go to my notebook and check on the configuration. Okay, so here I am on my system. Uh, the name uh, through uh, Putty, I have logged in to my Raspberry Pi. Libre Elec OS. I have named it Libre Elec Living TV. So there are a few things uh, you need to note. One is you need to know what uh, is the uh, uh, check, what are the buttons, whether they are getting recorded or not. So you have a command called IR table. So one uh, IR key table you know what kind of uh, receiver is connected, what are the protocols that support it. And when you do IR key table minus T, uh, it gets into a test mode. And on the test mode, uh, I am now pointing my uh, remote towards the receiver and just pressing a button. So see, uh, with each button press, uh, there is uh, a scan code that is getting generated. So you, based on how you want to configure uh, the remote, you have to uh, work on the check on the scan codes. And uh, uh, once you have uh, noted all the scan codes, like when you press up, what's the scan code? When you press down, uh, what's the scan code? So once you have uh, done that, you just uh, exit the screen and uh, you can uh, create a file of your own. So I have uh, created uh, a custom uh, key map file. So this key map file, I've named it as uh, pixel view PD. And when I just do VI, so I basically copied the 
template of the pixel view mk12 uh, remote so some of these are legacy the ones which you see on top that is the first one key okay key up key down um uh, key tuner so these are the ones uh, which are uh, uh, until key back it's what i have configured it once uh, this is ready uh, once you have configured all the buttons so standard names which you saw key up key down so there is a website through which you can take help from so i will uh, share the link to that web website i will paste it over here and also give it uh, uh, in the link section so it's wiki.libreelect.tv slash configuration slash ir hyphen remote so you know all the names against which you can do the key mappings once the key mapping is uh, ready you just need to uh, refresh uh, your key mapping using this command so you give the command ir hyphen key table minus c minus w followed by the path uh, of your key map file then you just press enter every time you add a new key you will see that uh, it now it shows wrote 33 key codes so every time you add a subtract this anytime you make changes to this uh, pixel view code file you will have to uh, issue this command uh, with that the new key map gets loaded now i will uh, switch over uh, to uh, my tv once again and uh, show you how uh, the Raspberry Pi is now ready to work as a full-fledged uh, IPTV setup box for GeoTV. So let's uh, switch over there. Okay, uh, we are back over here. Uh, the, the the key mapping uh, already completed. Uh, now I have uh, mapped my up, down, and left, right. I haven't configured all uh, the default key map which was already in place with the pixel view mk12 remote uh, that has the one two three for the numeric buttons configured so it saved my time now you can see uh, that when I press the down button over here so you see it moves over here now uh, here uh, you need to for uh, the raspberry pi to work as a set of box you need to visit the tv uh, section uh, don't uh, go to the geo tv add-on but the tv section so due to the simple iptv pvi client all the channel groups uh, have now refreshed on boot uh, now for the first time i have not configured all the keys so i am still using this mouse which is connected and uh, I can either click from here yeah, or uh, maybe I can so I'm back to the main screen I just click on ok so you can see all the channels you can do up and down and when I click on OK, the channel will start playing. Just mind you, I will probably have to gray out sections of these channels or uh, mute the sound just to avoid any kind of a uh, copyright uh, hit. So when I click play, So I've muted the TV and uh, uh, now you can uh, see that the channel is working fine uh, if I just press up. So Geo TV uh, has the channel numberings in it. So I just uh, can switch over the channels. So 
using the left and right button I can switch over all the channels so you see the number coming over here and uh, I even have the option to uh, jump to a specific channel so if I say 1 1 20 or say 222 two, two. okay so I press 222 two, two. so you see one of the channels over here I press 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 is another channel so so this works uh, pretty uh, neatly there are other features uh, you can configure too so just like a normal uh, setup box uh, we have achieved in making our own GeoTV IPTV setup box using a Raspberry Pi 3 a remote and uh, uh, an IR USB receiver just keep in mind that uh, the the remote that you are using has to generate unique scan codes so when you uh, issue the command IR hyphen key table minus T you need to check that the scan code being generated uh, is unique uh, if that's happening then you can use any uh, remote uh, which works fine with the IR receiver hope uh, this video helps you in setting up in your own uh, geo setup box to share your feedback uh, and uh, thoughts in the comment section thanks for watching have a great day